thanks for learning improv with me. This is a little bonus video to explain the basic rules of improv. Knowing these will make everyone a better performer. And um, with these loose rules, it's actually will make scenes flow better and games flow better uh, by just remembering these five things. Ultimate rule of improv, yes and. What this means is you accept whatever your scene partner, your game partner is saying and you add to it. If they say that you're a talking tiger, you are a talking tiger and you love to tango or, or anything like that. Denials, saying no, like in the scenes like happy birthday, it's not my birthday. All of a sudden you don't know where to go. Whoever's playing, improvising with you is confused because they just set a situation up for you and you said no, so they don't know what's happening next. And since if like you say no, you probably don't know what's happening next because you just denied a, a what could have been a great setup. So it's always yes and never no. Number two, avoid questions. In certain situations, like switch interview where you're interviewing, questions are fine. They're part of the structure of the game. But in general, if all you're doing is asking, asking questions in an improv scene, you are forcing whoever is acting with you, improvising with you to answer those questions and you're not really um, creating anything like fun to be in or to watch because it's kind of just like, oh, how does this work? Well, this is how this works. Uh, why is the sky blue? Well, this is why the sky, stuff like that. Or like, what are you doing here? And they say what you're doing here. Um, avoid questions and just instead improvise with confidence. You know everything, even if your character is someone who doesn't know everything. You know everything that that person is capable of, that shoe expert, that um, mom of um, a talking dog. Like you are whoever they say, like your scene partner says you are, whoever the audience says you are. And that's fine. You don't have to ask questions about that because you just get to pretend like you're um, an expert at your character. Number three, establish who, what, and where early on in a scene. It can be really confusing to watch two people just talking to each other and you don't know like, are they siblings? Are they coworkers? Are they strangers? Uh, what's going on here? Where are they? Are they at the park? Are they in their house? So it's good to, you know, you don't have to be like super obvious, but also don't be afraid to be obvious. It's totally okay to say like, oh, hey, Rebecca, I loved math class earlier. Let's hang out at the skate park right now. And then we're like, okay, we're following um, this one person and Rebecca at the skate park. Number four, listen, listen, listen. This is kind of tied into the yes and. Whatever your scene partner is saying, listen to them so that you can add to what they're saying. Which takes us to number five, escalate. That's the, the and of the yes and. How do we take something further? What are the stakes of a scene? Like, why should we care about this situation? So yes, you can accept the reality you're in, but then how does your character act in that reality? Why is it important? So if I'm a talking tiger, uh, maybe I'm meeting humans for the first time and they're scared, but I just want them to like me. And already we have like this unique scenario where I'm like, love me, love me. And they're kind of scared, but they're accepting me and that could go places. Um, and just like play to the height of your character's emotions and like sensibility and you'll have so much fun. So those are the rules of improv. If you can't remember all of them, just remember yes and, yes, yes and, and. <laughs> have fun improvising.